Hello friends, this video on triangles part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. Here also we have to uh, find whether they are similar or not. Now let's try to see. If you say 2.7 by 4, that will not be equal to 3 by 6. So we can't compare this by this side. Also if we try to compare this side by this side, 2.7 by 5 that will not be equal to 3 by any, any other side. Correct. So you try any way, you will find that the sides are not similar. Why I say you? So there are three possibilities. We have this triangle LMP. So you can take either this triangle D, F, or here, you just flip this, you get E. And then here you get F, here you get B. Correct. Again, you flip one more side, one more time, you get F here, clockwise, flipping this clockwise actually. Again, I flip this clockwise, I'll get F here, I'll get D here, I'll get E here. Again, if I flip, I'll get the same triangle, right? So I have three, I mean, this triangle, see one, you keep one triangle fixed. This triangle, I can flip and I get three different versions. Correct. Now if you see this is 2.7, this is 3, this is 2, this is 4, 6, 5, correct. Now if I flip this, this is ED, this becomes 4, right, this becomes 6, this becomes 5, correct. Now this becomes 4, this becomes 6, this becomes 5. Now if any, in any of the cases you find the sides are proportional, I can prove that they are similar. For example, let's suppose this is case 1. So in case 1, if I see this is 2.7 by 4, this side proportionality if you see, the next side proportionality if you see LP and DF, this is 3 by 6, and this MP and EF you see, this is 2 by 5, and they are not same. If you take this scenario, this thing you know, you compare LM by this side EF, this is 2.7 by 5, you compare this side, this is 3 by 4. If you compare this side, FD and MB, this is 2 by 5. Here also, if you see, they are not same. If you take this scenario, you have 2.7 by, this is 2.7, this is 6. This is 3, this is 5, 3 by 5. This is 2, this is 4. Here also, if you see, they are not same. So, any other scenario is not many. So, I can see that these triangles are not similar. This. The last example also which we have solved, we can do this way also. We have seen that the, this uh, we can flip this, we will get three different versions and we will see that we have seen that this version was not matching but for the second version in the last example, the side were, were proportional. Correct? This is one way actually. You keep the first triangle constant, the second triangle you can flip, you will get three different versions of the triangles and then you can try to compare the sides. The sides are proportional in any of the case, all sides are proportional in any of the case and they are equal. Then we can say that the triangles are similar. Else, here also, this is one case, one example, where you have to prove that they are similar or not. So if you see right, M and this is Q, both are same actually. But going by the figure right, we should compare M with P. So we will flip this. So if you see right, you have this triangle M and L, right, this is the triangle given actually. Make a bigger one. So make this bigger one. This is M, this is N, this is L. This P, Q, R, they can be three forms. This is P, Q, R as per given. Right? Then I can flip this, this side. I'll get Q here. This P will come here. And this R will come. And again flip this. I'll get more triangle. This is R here this time. This becomes Q and this becomes P. M is 70, right? And Q is 70. Q is 70, Q is 70. Now, if you compare these two triangles, you see that the angles are not same. This angle is not equal to this angle. Correct? Also, if you see that this side is uh, 2.5 and this is 5. This is 5 and this is 10. You compare 2.5 by 5, this by x is not known actually. 
So we can't say that they are similar or not. Because if you take 2.5 by 5, this is 1 by 2, then 5 by, this is not known, x. So you can't divide, you can't take the ratio. Here also this is some unknown value, y let's suppose. So y by 20. So if you take the sides ratio, you will get 2.5 by 5 or 5 by, this is let's suppose x, then you will get y by 10. They may not be same, they may be same, we don't know, because x and y are not. So we can't say anything about this. If you take this triangle now, right, this is we have flipped it. So here also if you see QP is, uh, QP is 5, sorry, QR, QR. Q R is 10 actually, right? And this is 5. Or I can take a mirror image of this, so I'll get like this, something like this. Q T R. This is 40, this is 5, and this is 10. Now, if you see this triangle QPR, when they are all same triangle QPR, we just take the mirror image. We can rotate it, we can take the mirror image, we can do anything you want. So, this is 2.5, this is 5. So, see the ratio, ratio is 2.5 by 5. In this ratio, if you take ML by QR, this is 5 by 10. You see both are same. Also, the angles are also same Q and Q. So, we can see that these are similar. This is similar to this. So actually what we got here is instead of this, what we got, this is M, this is N, this is N, here it is Q, this is P, this is R. And both are similar. Why? Because M is equal to Q and this ratio is 2.5, this is 5, this is 2.5, this is 5 and this is 5 ML and this is QR is 10. So the sides are also Proportional. So we can say that triangle MNL is similar to triangle QPR. So in this we can say that MN is MN by QP is equal to NL by PR is equal to ML by QR. Also all the angles are equal. Angle M will be equal to angle Q, right? Angle N will be equal to angle P and angle L will be equal to angle circle circle equal, current current equal, star star equal, correct? So in this we can say that if this is angle N, so angle N is equal to angle P, this angle is equal to angle P and angle L is equal to angle R. So both they are similar. So looking at the first view we thought they are not similar but actually when we found, we found that they are similar. Similar question, we have to tell whether they are similar or not. So what we will do here, let's use some shortcut way. If you see here, this angle A is 80 and angle F is 80. So we know that angle A is equal to angle F. So we'll write like this. Angle A is equal to angle F. So in the same orientation. This will be for triangle ABC and this is for triangle B. Angle A is equal to angle F. Now, this is angle A and this is angle F, correct? Both are equal, that we have done. Now, if you see AB by DF, you see that is equal to AB by DF, you can observe is equal to 2.5 by 5, that is 1 by 2. Also, we see that BC by EF is also equal to 3 by 6 by 3 by 5. Both are same. Right? Both are same. So in SAS, if one angle is same and the two sides corresponding are proportional, then they are congruent. So if you want to prove they are congruent, what we can do is AB, right? And this is EF. So if we assume this has B, let's suppose, and that is 2.5. Now for this to be similar, this has to be D. Correct. Why? Because AB by DF is the pair which we are looking for. So this will be D. 
The second pair is BC. BC by E is something we know. So this is A, this is B, this point has to be C. This is F, this is D, this has to be E. E. Correct? So this is 2.5, this is 5 we know. Now second is BC, BC is 3. And EF is 6 here. Now also if you see right, we are not able to relate it. Why? Because this is X, let's suppose this is Y, we don't know. So here if you see right, since angle A is equal to angle F, 2.5 this is 5. So X, to, to prove that they are congruent by SAS rule, AB by FD should be equal to AC by EF. If angle A is equal to angle F, right? Because so SAS rule, the corresponding sides has to be proportional. AB by FD we know is nothing but 2.5 by 5. And AC is nothing but X, we don't know. And EF is nothing but 6. So this 1 by 2. So if X is equal to 3, then only they are similar. But X is not given. That is, the value of AC is not given. So we can't say anything. So we can't say anything about this. We are not very sure that they are similar. So in this example, if you see right, this 2.5, this is 5, this is 3 and 6. But still, we can't say that they are similar. Why? We have proved this. Because for SAS rule, this side and the corresponding angles will be, uh, angle and the corresponding side has to be proportional. This angle is equal to this angle. But the corresponding angles are not, the corresponding sides are not proportional. This is equal to 3, then they are similar. But since it is not given, we can't say that it is similar or not. One last question to prove whether they are similar or not. If you see, right, this is 80, this is 70. 80 plus 70 is 150. This is 30, obviously, because total angle is 180. This is 80, this is 30. So this angle has to be 70. Right? Total angle is 180. This we know. Now we have to prove that they are similar or not. If you see compare D, D is 70. D can be compared with angle P. So we'll write D here, we'll write angle P here. Right? Angle D and angle P. Both are 70. Now if you see angle E is equal to angle Q. So if you see this becomes angle E, which is 80. And this becomes angle Q. This is it. And this also, if you see, this is F and this is R. And they are also equal. They are also equal. That is equal to 30. Right? Now, since all the angles are equal, that is angle D is equal to, D is equal to angle P. Angle E is equal to angle F. Q. And angle F is equal to angle R. So, I can say that triangle... D E F is similar to triangle P Q R. You so know the pattern here. I am saying D E F is similar to P Q. I am not saying D E F is similar to Q R P or R P Q. Why? Because angle D is equal to angle P, angle P is equal to angle Q, and angle F is equal to angle R. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests. Get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.